Hi, Mr. Lemaster here. Let's talk about our marking tool. Now, most students, when they're reading online or in a reading program, they are answering multiple choice questions. And I think this is what really separates us from other reading programs. We don't offer multiple choice. We don't provide the answers for students. See, with multiple choice, the answer is on the page. All the student has to do is identify the answer. With a marking tool, students can mark anything. You can mark a single word by highlighting it and letting go. You can mark a phrase or a grouping of words. Anywhere in this text, a child can mark. And, and we want them to do this because this is as authentic of a reading experience as you can get because we want students to identify text evidence. We want students to be able to go into a text and pinpoint what an answer might be. And the marking tool allows students to practice this very rigorous task. See, if it was multiple choice, then they could just read the text very quickly and then see which ones they can throw out and then narrow it down to maybe one or two and then finally make an educated guess. Well, here you have to know. You have to read the whole text and you've got to be able to answer the question correctly with this marking tool. This is how we ask the question, mark the central idea in the text. So now they're looking for the central idea, so they have to understand. And this text in particular is challenging because there's quite a bit of detail about uh, blue whales when it really isn't about blue whales at all. It's about the, the ocean, the um, Antarctica. So when we are um, expecting kids to find the central idea, well, it, it's, it's sometimes challenging, especially when there are uh, multiple opportunities here where they can say, oh, well, I, I kind of think it's about these whales, or I kind of think it's about the ocean, or I kind of think it's about what the whales are eating. So they really have to understand what it is they're reading. Once they find the central idea, once they understand it, then they can go ahead and mark it. So the, the way it looks is they find the central idea, and then they let go, they highlight the text, they let go, and that becomes their answer, and then they can check the answer. Now here's what's really cool. If a teacher were to take all this work home, like if these were texts that you printed for your students and then you asked them to underline and highlight the central idea, then you'd have to go through and look at every single text and see what students are choosing as the central idea. And then you would have to do some sort of math where it's, well, they, they kind of got some of it or, or they, they chose two or three things for the central idea. So they got one right and two wrong. Does that mean they got it right or is it wrong? This just tells you right away if they got it right or wrong. And then you can check the answer. So they mark it, checks the answer, and then it's going to go ahead and show if they got it correct. And then they can review uh, the answer, whether they got it right or wrong right below. And this is our marking tool. It really sets us apart from all other reading programs in education because we're trying to make authentic reading experiences for your students where they have to find text evidence, they have to identify it in a text, and uh, it just makes it so much more challenging but more rewarding and your data much more purposeful and meaningful.